Hey Lions, I'm so glad you're joining me for another lesson. We'll go ahead and get started. We're going to do a rhyming activity. I'm going to say, uh, we're going to rhyme with all, and I'm going to say the first sound, and then I want you to put it together with all to make rhyming words. Okay, so we're rhyming with all. So the first sound is f together, fall. Good job. Put it together, haul. K, put it together, call. T, together, tall. B, together, ball. Good job. All of those words rhyme because they all end with the same ending sound, and that was all. Listen to the words as I say them. Fall, haul, call, tall, ball. They all sound the same at the end of the word. When we can learn to make rhyming words, it can help us with spelling because if you can spell one word, it will unlock the door to spelling lots of other words. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. Okay, now I'm going to say a word and then I want you to tap out the sounds. That's something else that's important to do when you're spelling a word. You want to make sure you hear every sound and then you represent that sound with a letter or letters. Okay, say duck. Now sound duck. So I want to see you and hear you tapping out the sounds. Duck. Ready? D uh, duck. Um, I used to go feed the duck with my aunt, and that used to be so much fun. Did. Did you read today? Did. Tap it. D. Id. Did. Good job. Dad. Dad. My dad lives right up the street. Sound it. D. Ad. Dad. Fit. I've been walking a lot to try to get fit. Sound. F. It. Fit. Good. Say sick. I sure hope nobody is sick. Sound it. Sick. Sick. Say Mac. Mac is a name. Mac. Sound it. Mac. Mac. Good job. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to a new spelling, um, and that is all. So all can be a word. Or all is part of a word, like the words that we were rhyming earlier. The reason why we're going to learn this um, as an automatic sound that we should know is because the A does not make the short A sound. Okay, so when we see these three letters, we're not going to sound out each letter. We're just going to read this as all. Okay, let's read it together. All. Now you read it. Good. One more time. I'll read it. All. Together. All. Your turn. Good. It's like in the word mall. And we're going to read, um, we'll practice reading this in a few minutes. And whenever we see this, we're going to read it all together. Okay. Let's practice the other sounds we know. Here we go. K together. K Good. And that is like kick the can. I'm going to move this. You can see some more of our sounds, our cue cards. Okay. And this also says k together. K your turn. Good job. And this also says k together. K your turn. Good. Remember, this is a digraph. A digraph is when you have two or more letters that make one sound. And this says K, like kick the can. And remember, this sound or spelling for the sound will only be at the end of a word. D, together, D, your turn, good. Like the digging dog. I have a digging dog. Okay, now let's look here. And I'm going to get our picture cues. Um, remember, this is a closed syllable because this line represents that there would be a letter after it, closing the door so that this can only make it short vowel sound. And it says, ah, together, ah, your turn, 
good. Like the apple. And you pretend like you're picking the apple from the tree. This is the short sound for I. Ready? I. Together. I. Your turn. Good. And that is like the word itch. That's our cue, cue picture that we have. Again, this is a close syllable because this line represents there would be a consonant after this letter. Same thing. This also is a closed syllable for the same reason. And this says, uh, together, uh, your turn. Good. And our cue for that is up, the arrow pointing up. Together, your turn, good. Like the huffing horse. My turn, together, your turn, good. Like the flying fish. My turn, together, your turn, good. Like the tick-tock clock. There it is, couldn't see it at first. My turn, Together, s your turn, like the hissing snake. My turn, r together, r your turn, good. Like the racing robot. My turn, m together, m your turn, like the humming monkey. I've got to move my arms so you can see it. Mm, together, mm, your turn, good. And that is like nose noise. Okay, now we're going to read our words or read the sounds in words. And remember, when we see this spelling, we're gonna say it all together. So we will say all whenever we see this. So let me get my highlighter. And let's search. So I see in the very next word, I see all. So instead of sounding this out letter by letter, we're going to say all when we get to that part. Ready? F all. Fall. And when I look here, I see all again. So let me highlight it. And I'll go ahead and highlight the next one too, because I already see that the next two words have all in it. Ready? Let's read this. T all, t all, tall. He was very tall. K all, call. Good job. Okay, now the rest of these, we can go ahead and read and make each sound and then blend it back together. S ick, sick. Ick, stick, t, ack, tack, st, uck, stuck, h, as, has. Good job. We'll be reading many of these words in our story and our lesson for tomorrow. So this helps us get ready to read that story. Okay, guys, we are going to pause here, and I hope you join me tomorrow for the second part of the lesson so we can go over some sight words and spelling, and then we will read a new story together. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, Lions. Bye.